What up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are doing another Polo Archive. Yes, we are. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Sorry to keep you guys hanging. We've been busy. COVID, fucked up shit, business, summer camp, family. Kids. You know how it goes, but we're here now doing it. Today, it's gonna be a special one because I am actually with Jesse. Usually we're on Zoom for this, but I'm here with all the racks. Lots of racks of low. Look at all this low. And I am going to be picking out my favorite pieces from Jesse's collection. It's actually both of ours collection, but he's curated it. And there's actually even more in bins. This, this collection is crazy. So there will be more of these episodes. I'm gonna pick out my favorite shit. I'm not a polo head, so it's just what I personally like. It's gonna be a random mix. And we're gonna run through it with you guys. Just started pouring here again. And then we're gonna talk about these pieces. That's right. So here we go. I'm picking them out. Okay. picked out my favorite stuff um before we get into this all before we get into this quick message about bid stitch okay guys bid stitch is now live our founders week is happening right now you can go to bidstitch.com and sign up get your account set up get locked in to the cheapest pricing you're ever going to have you'll be grandfathered in go to bidstitch.com and for those of you that don't even know what bid stitch is BidStitch is a new way to sell vintage products with no commissions. It's a subscription-based platform. You pay one monthly fee, sell as much as you want. Go to BidStitch.com, get signed up now. Okay, let's do this. Sweet. Well, this is a pretty rad robe. It's got a flannel-lined rodeo western print. Does it have a tag? Uh, I believe it does. Huh? But it has horsey. But it has the horse. See, I don't really know why I picked this. I think I picked this because I had curtains as a kid that looked like this flannel cowboy pattern. Check this out, close up. Close up. Yeah, no tag. It has one small tag in the bottom that says Made in USA. It's definitely legit though, an earlier one. It's just kind of badass. Like you wear this around your ranch. You know, you need to have like an estate or a ranch to really represent this piece. Yeah. Pool, poolside. <laughs> poolside. All right, what do we got next? Okay. RLX motorbike. Oh, sorry, IndyCar jacket. This thing's pretty fucking sick. It's a down jacket. It's on the RLX label. What year? Uh, it's 2000s. A bit dirty, needs a dry clean. Did you wear this one? Uh, a couple times I wore it, yeah. It's great. There was like a number of other garments with this motif. There's a golf shirt. A um, bunch of other shit with that. Dope one. Dope one. Move along. Dope Don't this. even know what you call this. It's like a kind of like a hybrid Mackinac hunting jacket slash like jump jacket. Yeah, see I picked it out because these these slant pockets remind me of a jump jacket. Plus it's got the hook at the top. Which is like an the, A2. With the chin strap, yeah. Um, nothing on the back. It's just like a hunting military mashup crazy piece. Yeah. Very interesting details. Zipper, hand pocket, map pocket or something. Pen pocket, blue label, chin strapped up, sick piece. Simple but classic, ultra lightweight Harrington jacket, pinstripe from 87, cross flags, blue label. So, question, is this called a seersucker or is it only the white and blue called a seersucker? I believe white and blue is seersucker. Yeah, and it has a it has a uh, texture to it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I just like this one. Cool, striped, cross flags. Okay, next this, up. This is one of my favorite hunting jackets. Um, obviously, because of the incredible print. 
Uh, Sick like uh, button flap. Like yeah, hidden here. button flap there. Three pocket design. Um, it's got the little half belt detail on the back. Buttons on the back. And it does have the duck, like the hunting pocket. Nice details, nice on the details. Back, the back pocket. Again, she's blue label, made in macaw. She's a sicker, a beaut. Sicker. Okay. Polo, what do we call these ones? Tigers. RL Tigers. Okay, so tell the story when we found, was this from the Deadstock? Yeah, stock? this was from the Deadstock. So one year at Inspiration in LA, um, this was when they had it on the Queen Mary, I believe still. No. No, I no. think it was the year, the first year it was in the, the first year downtown, downtown yeah. uh, LA. And one of the Japanese sellers there had one of these on the rack, new with tags. Um, and I asked him how much, he told me, and it was a great price. And he said, do you want more? And I said, duh. <laughs> and he pulled out a box from under his table that was covered with the tablecloth so he couldn't see it. And he had like, I don't know, a dozen of these brand new in the bag with tags. And I think we got, was that the same year we got the jerseys or a different year? Different year we got the jerseys, same guy. Same guy, yeah, yeah. But the year that we got this, we also got a P-Wing uh, crew neck, an OG P-Wing crew neck sweatshirt. Yeah, and that was like the height of polo, po well, close to the height of polo popularity. Yeah, um, these were hit. So, yeah, this thing's sick. It has like very nice, almost satin liner. What other items came from this series? There's a sweatshirt. There's an incredible, yeah, there's a sweatshirt. Like there's like a warm-up style sweatshirt that has snap buttons and a collar. There's t-shirts. There was golf shirts that were made more recently because they redid it. But did they in redo the, the jacket? No, they didn't redo this jacket. But in the original line, the most coveted piece from this line is a leather sleeve varsity jacket. And it says polo and script on the breast, and it has the tiger on the back. Leather sleeve. And you don't have that. I do not have that. Well, there's still pieces out there he if needs. If you got it. That's fucking weird, people, that there's still pieces out there he needs. It's always, I've seen it a hundred times, but everyone always asks huge money. Here we yeah, go. I just throw this out there because you know there's you guys want to see hype. You guys want to see like the, the, the flashy pieces. Here's one right here. OG Babe Ruth, P Wing jacket. Speaks for itself. Needs a little repair. You, up here. This is the one you wore. You wore this a lot. Right? Yeah, I wore this a lot. And a red one. Um, Do you have the red one still? I didn't somewhere, see it. I think. Yeah. Um yeah, this is the classic. This was rebooted, but this is the OG. It's made it with a heavier Cotton twill. How can you tell the reboots? Well, I think the reboot has the new tag, first of all. And it just... Materials, yeah, the are, materials different. are different. The cut is slightly different. So, yeah. Number of factors. Let me see that for a second. Sure. Something that I heard... I don't know the truth to all this. But you see the size tag there? It's, like, very block-lettered, right? If you see, like, size tags that are, like, like italic... Those are new, and the OG size tags are all like very block lettered. Again, not a hundred on that, but I did hear that from somebody. This is a great shirt. This is the Polo Country shirt. The Ralph Lauren uh, Marina uh, Marlin shirt. This is actually a women's shirt, but this fits a man easily. This would fit me. Yeah, and like wicked pocket detail. The reason I picked this one is because this reminds me of like a Catalina OG hand painted Hawaiian. Like there's certain brands back in the day where you get these rayon shirts and they, this graphic would literally be hand painted. We've had them before. Yeah. Usually Catalina tag from what I remember. Um, but I feel like this was definitely styled after that. Yeah. And I have a few country tees with the same motif on it. Side buttons, which is very like Cuban shirt style. Yeah. And uh, this came in a few different colors as well. Blue. Okay. Uh, Next up. Nothing crazy, but the reason I picked this out is because I would wear this. <laughs> I just like, I like the half zip chin strap style. Yeah. Super wearable. Again, it's a country shirt. This is a men's shirt. Um, no gussets on the side, but it's, it's just a great cut. Yeah. And obviously the half zip chin strap is styled after like a 30s, 40s work shirt. Yep. Uh, you see them in wool. I have some OG wool ones in like the... Sombre. Sombre. Yeah. Sombre. 
you have two of these. One's like cream and one's white. This one might have just been like kind of off colored over time, eh? I believe so, yeah. I think they were white originally. This uh, is women's? Actually, no. This is a men's jacket. Oh, yeah. This, okay, there you go. This is the men's, but I have a women's as yeah. well. So they made them in both um, because this says 67. Um, this is great. I love this piece. First of all, I love the old metal buttons. Um, Close up. Ralph Lauren metal buttons. And secondly, I love the, like the art, the motifs. It reminds me of like old feed bags. Um, like that they would like put grain in, put or grain corn. in or corn in, and they all had their different motifs, like rolled wheat flour, U.S. patent, you know, Orleans butter and creamery. Um, yeah, it's just like, it's great, iconic folk art. This is Fisherman's Jacket. Fly Fisherman's Jacket. Yeah, Fly Fisherman's Jacket. Polo Sportsman on the leather tag there. This is the best feature in my opinion. The fly sheep pocket. skin to put your flies in, and it's actually like closable, which is dope. I don't know what the leather's for. Maybe it's like, it obviously serves a purpose. I think so that you wouldn't, a hook wouldn't come through. Oh, so it's thicker, yeah, yeah. Then it has like this cool loop down here. I don't know, you hang, probably hang your net off that. Hang your net off here maybe, another freaking loop thing. And another one here, maybe to hang your fishing license. Yeah, super sick. It has the pocket for your fish, for yeah. your, to put your trout in there. And it's Roaring got the forks. great, uh, this great art, Roaring Fork Anglers. He has two of these, so I might uh, take him one. You might have to be ganking. <laughs> okay, next up. Women's piece, what, it's like a short set jumper uh, from the, the, the sportsman line. Yeah, this is Respect Wildlife line, if you guys are familiar. This is a super rare piece. Um, I love the details, like you got, um, like a, it's almost like a nylon cotton blend around the co collar, um, the blue zip and the belt. Wrap around belt. This is actually crazy. This has a real OG talon, which you don't even see on even the oldest polo. Yeah. Um, the classic wildlife patch, respect wildlife. Super sicker. Also, I picked this because I love my wife even more. I love my wife all the time. But when she wears a fucking short suit. Yeah, jumpers get us jumping. <laughs> um, and it's got this great like contrast, it's very, uh, respect wildlife ask of a lot of the pieces almost um, like a uniform for like a parks ranger yeah on the and, next and then this is super like the blue zip crazy choice which again the polo designers just have so much fun with this shit yeah totally um so we'll put this here still a few more pieces to go people so it's not over yet okay i don't know what this is called did you buy this at the outlet I bought this at the outlet when we were there with Marco on the way to Vegas. On the way to Vegas, on the way to Magic Trade Show, we stopped at the Polo Outlet. And it was. Does this have a name or is this just some crazy? Well, piece no, that you like? this doesn't have a name, but it reminded me of the Riviera. Yeah. A lot. It was like the closest thing I could find to the Riviera at the time. And I just thought, man, it was like on the rack. It was on the clearance rack, and the original price was like six or 800 bucks, and it was like 150 bucks. Yeah. So I was like, I gotta get this thing. Super rad, super rad, good story. Okay, this one has always been a favorite piece of mine. I don't know why, maybe because it looks like a beeper. Is it supposed to be a beeper? It's supposed to be like a, uh, you know, one of those things where it tells you how fast you went and how many steps you did and how many calories you burned and so forth, like a timer. Yeah, and this is like a 2000 piece. But people call this the beeper or the page. Yeah, this is actually 3M too. The stripe is 3M. So I guess it's like, this was meant to be like your running coat. Yeah. Your running windbreaker. And again, they recently redid this, but it's different. It's not the same. This Polo is the original. Pro. This is the original. It's from the RL2000 line. And uh, yeah, it's a classic sicker. A lot of these come with- 50 lot memory. A lot of these um, unfortunately come with the, if you find them used, this is completely washed out but this yeah is see this one's shape. even like getting cracked and faded you can tell it's like the printing because it's on a nylon came off for sure yeah and it's got these great uh sleeve gusslets for breathing in the back with the mesh you can see that all right nothing crazy again but that's what this is about this is about my personal preferences just a classic fucking anorak 
Polo Sport. Is that what's these ones called? Is there like a name? Just for those Polo ones? Sport. Um, I just like it because look at this fucking color. It's blinging out orange. Yeah, hold that piece for one sec. And this is actually a small. I'm gonna try this one on. This is actually a small, but I feel like it would fit me. Super oversized. So yeah, this is like this is a small, and this shit fits me. So weird sizing, but. This is actually, oh, we're, are you going to try to find the uh, military? Yeah, I'm going to show the version. Yeah, it's in there. So he's going to show you what this is styled after. Classic military anorak parka. Super dope. And this is where the inspo came from. This is a World War II mountain parka. So if you can see, it's got the same slant pockets on the chest. I mean, slightly different, obviously. They alter it. They don't want to do straight copies. And it's got a zip neck, although some of these did come with the zip neck. Some of these came with fur or little zippers too, like the older ones. And the best, I actually have one of these that I wear. I love this jacket. This is called, this is reversible so you could be camouflaged in the snow. Yeah, it's, it's a, mountain parka. Yeah, and it's an over parka, so you would wear this like over another jacket. This yeah. was just like your camo. That's why they're always massive. Um, um, and this one is so sick because this one was actually used this is really interesting, yeah. I'll show them that. So, chance. somebody repurposed this jacket. Um, it's a World War II jacket. They probably got it from their dad or their grandpa and repurposed it for a University of Michigan property of the Athletic Association, number 53. So, somebody uh, repurposed this into their football warm up or their warm up jacket for whatever sport they were doing. Yeah. Like he said, football warm-up. Because if you ever see a real football warm-up, they're fucking huge. And they go down to, like, your shins. Because they want to be, like, sitting on the sideline in December on a football game keeping warm, right? So they're, like, these massive bulky jackets. Okay, well, I'm just going to get into my next piece here. This is uh, just a cute sort of motorcycle-style wool tartan jacket. Has the motorcycle gussets here for, like, when you're bent over on your bike. Those are for when you're bent over. Um... And I just like this because this is styled after like an early 30s or 40s jacket. Like you see these, you see these vintage and they have grommet zippers, really old zippers. It's just a cool classic 30s jacket, eh? Yeah, totally. Uh, and like probably the and half belted here, which is hard to see because it all blends in. Buckles, just super cool style. And if you ever, if, this is one of the jackets that if you find vintage, you're like tight. You're bling it out. Yeah, you're hyped. Um, one thing I just, before we continue, I just wanted to show a little reference here. Oh no, that's not it. This one. Like with the Respect Wildlife, hold that up. So this was the Respect Wildlife jumper. And as you can see, you got the blue, you got the yellow, you got the orange. And here's a Respect Wildlife fleece. You can kind of see that they've kind of kept with the same motifs, like the orange, the blue, the different colors, and the color blocking. And yeah, I just thought it's cool to show you guys a little bit of the cohesion in that line. Yeah, and again, like that's an important part of design. That's these the polo designers keeping like keeping fluidity through the whole line they're creating. Right. We changed our clothes. Cause it's a new day it's a new day we are back because we started wardrobe change wardrobe change we had enough of filming for one day so we're coming back the next day and we're starting again got a few more items for you guys so i think we left up on this one tell them about it Drew. okay this is m 1941 style yeah uh you know it's a classic uh military field jacket yeah and they made them for usn and like and army. This one has a cool graphic, which this is styled after the, the actual um, soldiers would like draw on them. So if you ever find military with drawings, it's like considered folk art and military history. And they put their squad, they put how many people they killed, they put where they've been, all kinds of shit. Yeah. Um, but this one is sick because it, this tag, it says Polo Ralph Lauren PRL Technical Laboratories. This is a test sample tag copy so a remake of an actual military test sample tag which if you see this on a real military piece it means it was a test sample made never went or maybe went to production 
but it was the first sample of that type of garment, which is like crazy rare. It's like having the first edition of anything. Yeah, it's super rare. We've seen a bunch of them over the years. But, but like literally we may have had like one or two in 20 years of picking. Yeah. Real ones. Yeah. And it's got some great patches. So it's got it, the leather name badge, Lieutenant Bleeker, which is a, you know, that's the street that, uh, one of the streets in New York where there's a Ralph store. That's like considered the flagship? I believe so. Can't remember to be honest with you. Cool, um, another like patch with bouillon. Yeah, bouillon, if you guys don't know, is when they use metal on the thread is like some sort of metal composite. And then we got another patch on here. Air Transport Division. Pretty dope jacket. Sicker. Sicker. Okay, another military one which is styled after like a US Navy jacket. Yeah, Navy raincoat. Navy raincoat. This is a snow beach. This is, and this is a snow beach, the most low key of the collection, right? Yeah, I think people call this a Robin Hood, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this, this jacket in actual military is not that rare, like you do find them quite often. Uh, yeah, there's a couple versions. There's definitely the lace up version. There's a version that has clips uh, instead of laces. But yeah, you know, you could be, low-key stunting the snow beach line and yet this goes with a lot more of a wardrobe than your fucking crayola big thing yeah than the raekwon pullover the raekwon, yeah that's why this is one of my only snow beach pieces because it's really wearable okay only a couple more to go okay this is a uh, sailing jacket correct yeah it's part hey, of the rlyc i don't know anything about this okay rlyc stands for ralph lauren yacht club uh, this is a whole line they did, I believe, in 93. Um, well, it's 93 on the back, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep, there you go, 93. It's the P2 RL67. Jacket's dope. Got gold cl gold fireman clips with the zip. Um, yeah, so if you don't know, these are fireman clips. Basically, all the heavy fire these jackets have these. Um, but also, like, insane rubber. Like, the sleeves are literally rubber. The top's rubber. The yoke. Yeah, unique thing about this jacket, it's rubberized. So it's pretty waterproof, at least on the arms and the uh, back. Yeah, dope piece. I mean, there's a few bunch of RLYC big, things. Big RLYC sleeve hit on this arm. It's one of my favorite lines. Ralph Lauren, fucking, you can't even see how big this is. This is like a floor length raincoat. It probably weighs like 10 pounds minimum. Yeah. And it's actually made in USA. Look at that. That's pretty rare, is it not? It is pretty rare. And uh, yeah, it's super heavy, flat. Like Drew said, it's lined with the cotton. Corduroy thread. collar. Cord collar, cookie patch. So this is late 80s. And uh, yeah, this jacket is a super heavy duty banger. It came in white, came in a few colors. So Do you yeah. have a, grab the Love Jewel shoe. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I just thought this was cool. Really heavy duty piece. Made in USA is rare. Um, from the cookie patch line, but Jesse's gonna show you something that we did with the cookie patch a long time ago. We put it on a boot. <laughs> uh, we made hats and tees and shit back in the Shout day. Shout out Love Jewels. Yeah, we did this uh, custom boot with MC, uh, cut up MCM bags to make it. And I think we only dropped like 20 pairs of those when we did it. Yeah. Yeah, this is a sick project. Yeah. And they were all numbered. Sick project. And that is all for my selections, guys. We will come back with more uh, specific lines and stuff. There's so much more polo here to show you guys. It's crazy. It's overwhelming. Make sure you go sign up for Bid Stitch now. This is Founders Week. Don't miss out. Bidstitch.com. Also, I want to shout out our compostable mailers. Most of you people watching this are probably resellers. Um, stop using plastic mailers. We created F as in Frank compostable mailers. That means the mailers you can buy from us, they actually decompose in the dirt, in the garbage to nothing, back to the, the earth. Your customers will appreciate it and just do your part for the planet. So you can go shop compostable mailers. There's a link down below. And they're no more expensive than regular plastic mailers that are polluting our oceans and killing our planet. Jesse, you got any last words? No. Jesse went somewhere. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. 
share it with your friends. See you guys again on another Polo Archives.